How to make a Gantt chart using Excel in less than two minutes. First, put your tasks down the side, and then put the dates across the top, and then you put in the critical path. Now, how do you know which tasks are on the critical path? Well, it comes from the post-it note flowchart that you made earlier. It should look like this. Never jump straight to a Gantt chart without doing the post-its first, because your Gantt chart will be wrong. It will be based on the wrong critical path. Then you can put in the floaters. When you do this, always put in the vertical lines. They show how much movement the floating tasks have. The lines are based on what does the floating task have to come after and what must it be done before. Position the floaters as you want them, which will depend on the nature of the tasks. And then put in the names of who is doing each job as an extra column. Then put in any holidays like Christmas where the project will be stopped. And this is done just by inserting a blank column. Then you can put in the actual hours worked along the bars and then add up the columns to see when you're busy. This is known as a resource profile. If you're too busy, then you've got to either move the floaters or get more people. You can also add up the rows to see where the time is being spent and do a little sanity check. Do the totals look about right for each task? Then do the same for cost instead of hours on a new sheet, which is just a copy of the previous sheet. And this tells you what you're spending the money on and when you're spending it. Finally, consider a Gantt of Gantt's based on the resource profile for each project all added up so that you can check that you can do all your projects. Also, colour in your Gantt chart to show the progress and consider having a coloured in Gantt of Gantt's so that you can easily monitor the progress of all of your projects. And that's it. If you want more detail on how to actually do all this using Excel, have a look at my Gantt Excel demo, which takes a bit longer. And of course, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll be notified every time I produce a new video.